All right, hello. This is Drake Hollow. Uh, it's like a sandbox coming soon. Interesting. Uh, it's like a action adventure base building survival game type thing. Like the thing, it it it's basically like a world of Keflings meets like an action adventure game, from what I understand. Uh, I played slightly into the tutorial to understand the controls a little bit, um, but yeah, it looks very, uh, very interesting. And there's me, angsty teenage me, oh man, it really, really brings me back. Especially that time I found that uh, creepy, glowy-eyed raven with a clock on his or a compass on his neck. That definitely happened. Anyway, let's go. Let's go follow this uh, this raven or crow, whatever. And he just poofed out. You know, what's the point of being able to fly if you can just like teleport in and out of existence? I've got a different path for you. Is it through this stuff? This way, kid. This way, kid. Boom, boom. Hey, kid, look. I've been sent to find someone, and I think you're it. This door I'm sitting on, gonna need you to walk through it. It's not strictly speaking a normal spooky door in the woods, really more of a portal. Some folks on the other side could really use your help. I can't force you to step through. You gotta do that on your own. But I'd appreciate you deciding fast. My brain's getting foggier the longer I'm on this side. You gonna be able to stick around much longer? Wait, not gonna be able to stick around much longer. I gotta warn you, this could be a one-way trip. No telling when you might get back. It's gonna be dangerous. So you up for an adventure? Step on in. Uh, Yeah, sure, just give me one second uh, to turn down the music slightly. Apparently this game has voice chat. I know this game's co-op. I don't have anybody to play with, though. Alright, let's go through the creepy portal. The game is currently on Xbox and PC. You get it through Game Pass for free. Uh, it's also on Steam. You can buy it on Steam. But yeah, if you have Game Pass, you can play the game for free. I think we should see other people. Hello? Are you there? Phone needs charged. Okay, we are now in the same place, except slightly creepier, with some like mushrooms growing around. Do 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 do. Oh, hey, wait. Can I? Oh, cool. You can pick them up. I wonder what they do. Probably something important at some point. I know there's like a crafting system, so we probably need him to craft something. Ah, you made it much better. It was fogging up something awful. No offense, but I hate crossing over. If I'm being honest, I wasn't sure you'd cross. I've been starting to lose hope. Seems like it's on short supply everywhere these days. Welcome to the Hollow. It's been better days, I'm afraid. It's seen better days, I'm afraid. That's kind of why you're here. Follow me, I'll clarify. All right, let's go, Mr. Crow, Mr. Wise Crow. Yo. <laughs> Press A to jump. I brought you here at the request of an old friend, someone from your side of the hedge from way back. Probably best if you just heard from her directly. She left me this note. A note from Sarah Howe. Find someone new. Dear Wise Crow, I know how to help you and the Drakes. I need you to find a warrior, strong of will and body, sensitive to animals. Look for them when the hedge is thin. Bring them to finish what I am too frail to accomplish. They must work with the Drakes to build their power and seek out my effects f hidden from the Terminer. Find them. It's the only way to save the Hollow. Yours, Sarah Howe. So here we are. You've got the youthful vigor we need. The hedge is thin. The hedge was thin, and as evidenced by this here conversation, you got the gift of animal whispering. 
Come on, I've got something I'd like you to try, and some folks I think you should meet. Interesting. Apparently I can speak to animals. I thought it was just I thought he was just like a magic crow that could talk, but apparently I can talk to animals in general. Yo, look at that boat. Look at that boat. That's a nice looking boat. I mean it's like basically destroyed, but aside from that, it's pretty nice. Yo, look at that house. That's a nice looking house. That's a pretty nice looking house. It's a nice looking lighthouse off in the distance too. This game totally looks like Fortnite. I guess like it's very aesthetically similar to Fortnite in terms of like art style. I don't play Fortnite. Uh, anyway. Hello, Mr. Crow. Old X to talk. Now that we've had a little nature hike, it's time to get to work. I've got a little theory about you. I want to test it out. See if I really did choose the right person for the job. I think there's more to you than you realize. Best see it for yourself. That pile of crystals over there? Get up close. Attune your mind on waking them. See what happens. I totally understand what that means. Attune my mind on waking them. Oh, what the? I can do like a ground pound. I Cool. Hold X to focus. If only it was that simple. Hey, it's a little plant guy. It's two little plant guys. Hey there, little buddies. How's it going? Oh, he's a spooky looking boy. Stick. Floating stick. I see. Wobbly stick. Does 11 DPS. Press up to equip melee weapon. Hello, little spooky boys. Press RT to attack. But I can do this crazy jump slam that probably does like way more damage or something. It does 11. Yeah, it does 11. The normal attack does... Did you spit at me? Alright, they're dead. Cool. Visit the Wise Crow. I like this little guitar, this little guitar music. Hello, Wise Crow. You've met our esteemed allies, the Drakes, and vanquished a pass pack of fes- <laughs> And vanquished a pack of pesky feral. <laughs> Not too bad, kid. The Drakes are companionable lot- are a companionable lot. Man, I can't fucking read. <clears throat> <clears throat> kind souls. Unfortunately, they've had a rough go. Ain't what they used to be. Invaders. Those Terminers the note mentioned made a real mess of things. So they're a little skittish around newcomers with a penchant for brawling. You're gonna need to do some legwork to earn their trust. The drakes are plenty hungry and thirsty, hibernating so long. Unfortunately, the land's no good. Everything that comes from this ground is blighted, inedible. You're gonna need something to cleanse things for them to eat. You look like the crafty sort, though. Remember that attunement business with the crystals? Ah, uh, that's right, that's your gift. With a little focus, you can let the drakes know what you need. <laughs> Fuck, dude. You can let the drakes know what you need built, and they'll hop on it. So this is like the the world of Kefling's part. Where like, I have these little guys that build stuff for me. Anyway. And probably gather supplies. Gather up some lumber and build a cleansing cauldron. Check back with me once it's built, and I'll tell you how to use it. Here, take a couple glowstone shards. You need to get started. You'll need them to build the cauldron. Also, take this healing salve. It's the only one I got. But if you're going to be scrapping with those grunts, you're going to need it. You'll learn how to make more soon enough if uh, you use that one up. Alright, let's pick these up. So then we just gotta go... What's this stuff? Bane berries. Bane berries. Mm. I think we just... Yeah, we just smack the tree. Just like... Just like old Minecraft. Hello, buddy. There's gotta... How is there like not a... There's not a lock on. I feel like there really should be. Wait, how did that one tree not give me any lumber? It was a big ass tree. It gave me a bunch of leaf bundles. Wait, can I? I can break the stumps. Oh yeah, you can break the stumps. 
I like this piano music too. I'm partial to piano though. I really, I, I very much like the piano. Love me some Chopin. Okay. I can rotate it. Uh, let's place it like right there. All right, cool. So what was I supposed to do? I honestly don't remember what he wanted us to do with the cauldron again. Oh, we use it to like cleanse stuff, right? The, the like food and stuff for them to eat. Hey, nice work, kid. I knew you had it in you. Now for the most important part, using the cauldron. You're gonna need to investigate this island a bit for a couple things. Juice boxes and bane berries. Get at least four of each, walk up to the cauldron and toss them in. Soon the berries and juice will be cleansed and the drakes can chow down. Knowing they've got a meal waiting should show them you're not looking to do them harm. Okay, so we got a- we got- I'm pretty sure we had four bane berries from the thing. From- they were just like there. Um... There we go, bane berries. I got a twig. I got an arrow. I got a wobbly- wait, what's better, the twig? No, it's crafting. Never mind. Uh, hold up. Uh... Here we go, melee weapons. Okay, so we only have this, this, this stick is the only melee weapon we have. We got a whole bunch more bane berries. Now we need to just find a bunch of juice boxes. Cannot break that. Uh, what about up by this outhouse and this pigeon? Can I talk to the pigeon? Oh, I can! It's a magpie. Hello and welcome to the wonderful world, wait, the world of wonder that is Magpie's Emporium. If you've got shiny objects, I'm exactly the sort of cultured aficionado that you should be speaking with. I can tell from a quick look at the I can tell from a quick look at you that you're also a person of refined taste. We shall get along famously, I imagine. Please browse around, inspect the wares. I'm always looking to make a deal and expand my vast collection of rare and wonderful shiny objects. Check in every day, new stock arrives every morning. Okay, oh wow. Uh, has a lot. Uh, nothing I have is worth anything. I have, I don't think, any money. I can buy some lumber, I guess. Alright, so we need to go find some juice boxes. He said on this island, so I'm assuming it just means this small little island right here. Upholstery scrap, an arrow. Hey, I found 13 shiny objects, cool. So you can like zoom out, but you can only zoom out like this far. Like you can't zoom out between here and here. It's just like close far. I feel like there should be like an in between. And also if you like go in combat or like swing, it automatically zooms you in, which is kind of annoying. Um, I have not found any juice boxes and in a million bane berries. Maybe they're not on this small little island. Oh, yeah, kid, you only need four. Where am I supposed to find juice boxes? Just, like, littered around. Give me a Capri Sun, a high C. What are these? Yarrow. I don't know what those do. We'll figure it out at some point. Can I go in the water? Oh, God, what the fuck? Aether. Build an Aether Ward or Aether Waypoints at the Curio Shop to traverse the Aether. So it's not water? Okay. So, water bad. Good to know. Um, that just points me to the crystal. Okay, I was looking at the compass in the top. Alright, maybe in this garage we can find some... Uh, maybe in this car. Let me let me check this car. See if there was a child in here that had some... Uh, oh, hey. Oh, hey, yeah, there was. Cool. That was it. There was one juice box. Oh, and a nine spoons. Cool. You can find some cattails... Boop, 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 boop. All right, uh, let's go up to that house or garage or whatever it was. I actually didn't expect. I was like, this thing's totally not gonna have anything. I'm just doing this for no reason. But nope, there was legitimately a juice box in that car. All right, 
What about this car? There is a shoelace, a juice box, and seven spoons. Okay, there's a bunch of shit in here. Blunderbuss shot. Hold LTT. Wait, I found a nail gun. Oh! I have 12. It looks like I have 12 nails. Cool! I have a nail gun. I don't know where I got the nail gun. I guess it was in there. Um. Oh, I got all my juice boxes. Wait, how many fuck? How many juice boxes do I have? Apparently, it's not a crafting material. It is a Drake provision. I have nine. I found nine juice boxes. <laughs> Doop. What about this car? Is there anything in this car? Ooh. Found another shoelace and an upholstery scrap. This music is very nice. Old to stock cauldron. This is a cute little guy. Bewer found. Woodcutter. I didn't get to read that second. Hey, camp XP. Increased by 10. Oh, he's doing jump rope with his arms. Me peep found. Lucky. 20% extra item drops. Okay, so we're almost leveled up on the camp. Apparently you can level the camp up. Drake supplies. So, I'm guessing food, water, happiness? Okay, no. Food, water, entertainment. That's the amount I have stockpiled. Uh, making more than you need, you're making less than you need, you're making exactly what you need. Okay, so we're making slightly more than what we need on food and water, but not on entertainment. So we need to entertain them? What am I, a clown? Am I funny? I gotta be a little clown? The Drakes weren't always like this. Their hearts are the same, but their minds aren't. Not since the Terminator came along and twisted the magic of this place to their will. With your help, we can restore the Drakes, even send you home. Once they get back, once they get their magic back. But before we go save, bleh, go off saving the world, we better finish tending to the Drakes' basic needs. The Drakes don't just need food and water; they're gonna need a place to sleep. Also, these folks can literally die of boredom. You're proving to be pretty crafty. I think you can help them with the sleeping spots and entertainment. Why don't you try building the Drakes a couple thatched beds and poppets? Poppets? Uh, you can get everything you need for thatched beds from trees. As for poppets, look along shorelines for cattails and beat them up and beat up some cars for upholstery. I think I already got it. Alright, okay, so I need to build a horrifying little puppet that looks like a nightmare doll. And then a bed. Okay, what was- why was crafting furniture? Okay, so I need charms? I have enough stuff, but I need charms. Can I like- Okay, I can't look up charms. But I already have those. So I just need the charms. Hmm. Can I put more stuff in here? I can. Ew. Can I jump over this? Ah, uh, that's probably a bad idea. I already checked that car. Doop. Need those cattails. Yo, there's a toilet over there. If I know anything from playing Borderlands, it's that there's always something inside the toilet. Classic sniper rifle in the toilet. What? Got some upholstery scraps from that toilet. Cool. The music really does remind me a lot of Minecraft. That's fine. Hey, give me that. 